How you doing? Corey Ackley, Hammer Steel Performance. Here to bring you yet another exhaust. Oh, nope. I'm sorry. I guess I'm so used to doing exhaust views. I'm, uh, I made a mistake. No, we're doing intakes. We're doing an intake shootout part two. Again, to call it a shootout is not fair. Really, we're just comparison, uh, comparing these uh, these three intakes for this this run. Um, we have a couple that we'll talk about as well um, that are variations. But what we did is we used the uh, the gold standard, the Lloyd Torque tubes um, that have been around for, for quite a while. And then we have Terry Hall. Terry Hall's made a tube style uh, intake design uh, that runs with carbon fiber and, and such. And then we have a Gen 3 from uh, Alan Flores, Third Gear Customs piece of that. And I also have a Gen 1. Uh, third gear customs that I'll show and a new set of torque tubes because the ones I have I got off of eBay so uh, I don't want to misrepresent any uh, uh, any of the intake builders so what we'll do now is I'm gonna I'm gonna pick each one of the intakes up and uh, I'll, I'll do let you do a little looky at them and then we'll go from there okay all right first up this is the Lloyd torque tubes this is again for the uh, the pre 07s uh, correction the pre 08s um, and again, I got these off eBay, so they are, um, you know, they're, they're, they're well used. I've had them off and on my bike a, a bunch of times, but anyways, you know, steel construction, nice thick, um, steel flange on it. You can see that it's, a, you know, it's got a couple weld spots in here, but it's a good looking intake. It works real well. Um, yeah, and that's sort of standard here in 44 millimeter for the, uh, pre-08s. And I'll show you a new one for an 08 up, so you, you get to look what, if you, if you don't have one of these intakes, you get to take a look at what it, one looks like new, because um, this doesn't do a good, you know, it's, it's well worn. So this is what a brand new one looks like, okay? This is for, you know, 08 up. Very similar in design. Flan both flanges are a little bit different. These are 45 millimeters, so you get another millimeter for the newer throttle bodies. Um, and there you go. Uh, so, again, just wanted, I didn't want to misrepresent anybody. All right. Next up is Terry Hall. So Terry Hall uh, has designed his version of a, uh, a dual, dual tube intake. This one here has a uh, aluminum base plate. It is machined for, um, you know, the rubber gaskets. It is carbon fiber. And then it has the uh, the adapter. It's been tapered here. We'll talk a little bit more about the, about the taper here in a minute. But anyways, that is the third gear custom uh, intake. Very light. It's the lightest intake of uh, the three. Very comfortable. It's just a little bit lighter than the Lloyd's. But again, there there you have it. Okay, next one up. This is the Third Gear Custom Gen 3. If you've had a Third Gear Customs one, the older ones, uh, Gen 1, had a little bit, had a smaller diameter on it, and it was also a two-piece, so you had a flange, and there was a welded seam. I'll show you that on, on the other one I have. Um, this one here is a much larger opening, and it is all one piece. It is heavy. It is a big, heavy intake, um, but not, um, not, not a detriment to anything. And then... Um, yeah, you know, again, you can take a look at it. Pretty, pretty clean. Just pulled off the bike uh, with some dyno runs. Okay. All right. This here is the old Gen 1s. Okay, it has a smaller uh, diameter tube on it. It's much thinner. It's two pieces. You can see the welded seam here where the two pieces are welded together. There was a... There, I guess there could be some variance in there when this bolts on. If they don't get the tube lined up just right, you could have a little bit of variance uh, left and right that you don't have with the uh, all-piece cast. Um, this one here I modified quite a bit. I had it on a V92, my V92, which has a 48, 48 and a half millimeter throttle body. And um, so with that said, is uh, I went ahead and opened this one up. And then I also did a lot of work on blending um, the transition point here, so there's a nice radius coming in, 
um, all the way around and stuff like that. So I did, I did probably another couple, three hours of work on this one, um, you know, a while back to get get the get it right um, for my application. And then also here, I also um, drilled a hole and to uh, run the air temperature sensor and also for the map uh, sensor. But again, don't have to. You can strap those off the side and they're just fine. So anyways, those are the three intakes. All right, let's transition. Here we have just uh, what each one of the intakes mocked up on the, the bike. This was either during the installation or deinstallation process. Just want to give you a good rap, uh, graphic representation of what it looks like uh, with the, the intake or correction the gas tank off. Alrighty. All right, now on to really the meat potatoes of what you know we're here to do, and that's really to look at these how these intakes compare. So we have the Lloyd torque tubes in red. We have the Terry Hall intake in green, and we have the third gear custom Gen 3 intake in black. So, the, I'll make a long story uh, short. Is I did each one of these on a on a different day. Um, so, over the last three days, we had a little bit of varying temperature, a little bit of varying humidity. So, given what we have, I think this is pretty much a wash. Where they you know they make power. They're all. Uh, they're, they all do very well uh, on this combination. Again, this is not a standard combination. It's, you know, as I said before, it's a, it's a 92 inch with 100 inch big bore with 106 pistons, 495 cams, uh, a little bit of light port work on the, uh, the heads of 48 and a half or so throttle body, uh, um, custom exhaust. So it's got Sony headers, road rage headers, but it has my own, um, collector on it so with that being said that you know you're looking at you know two two and a half uh, percent variance on these intakes so i think that's i think it's a wash in my opinion so i would say that you can't go wrong with any one of these intakes and then you start looking at other things you look at fit finish you look at cost you look at availability you look at um you know appearance you know, what are those scenes that, that mean a lot to you? And then you go from there. But there's really no, uh, as I said before, there's really no wrong answer on this one, um, in my opinion. You know, there's not even the trends, you know, are there normally. You know, we've seen the third gear costumes make a little more peak horsepower. On this particular one, it didn't. Um, but, yeah, I don't know what I'll say other than pick your poison. You can't go wrong. Okay, there was a couple of questions on a post I did yesterday regarding clearance, uh, any clearances with the Terry Hall intake. So, talking to Terry, his intake on a Vegas steel frame, we're talking about, you know, pre-08 stuff, Vegas, Hammer, Jackpot, Kingpin, um, he had about a 16th to an 8th clearance, and he provides a little, uh, a, a little washer spacer. Uh, just to help out with that on the, the bike. So, with that said, I would assume there would be a clearance issue on a V92. Now, I already run spacers. Um, I had to put a spacer on it back when I ran the, the third gear customs, even the Gen 1 way back um, a few years ago. So, I've already had space on there, so i just never taken them off. So, um, that's that's the deal. So, that's the, uh, this, the on clearance. And the other thing would just, again, just sort of, again, recapping because... Sometimes, you know, you, you, you think you know the, the results and, and you get different ones. Um, I've, done, uh, I've done two comparisons on two different bikes with uh, the third gear customs intake. First one I did was on, uh, on Bernie's, uh, the custom shop, his V92, which was another 100 inch uh, bike. And that was just, a, it was an old Gen 1 stock. And we ran the s, &S intake the Lloyd torque tubes and the third gear customs. And then I had the one on my bike and the one on my bike is an old gen one, but it's, it was modified because I have bigger throttle bodies. Um, and I, so I just did, did a little bit of work on it. I had to cut the nose down a little bit. So I get the filter on up I didn't have to, I did that to make it easier to service the filter. Um, but in both those cases, um, 
that 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 Gen One or the third gear custom tape made more top and power. It did exactly what uh, you'd expect from a shorter uh, runner intake compared to the longer runner intakes. And so on this instance, it didn't do that. So is it, is it a one off? I don't know, but um, it was interesting um, and not what 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 expected. That's why we do this stuff, right? And that, that's why we test it. Um, so, so you guys will know. And then I know there's been a lot of discussion about doing videos that are more mainstream because, again, I use my video, I use my bikes. My bikes aren't normal builds because I want my bikes to be faster than others. So, therefore, I don't use, you know, traditional parts. Or if I do use traditional parts, I try to make more horsepower. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Um, so they're not, they're, you know, they're everyday builds. I know, I know people want to have more standard build stuff, and so. Um, but we're going to do a uh, intake comparison on my wife's uh, Judge. I have a, I just bought a new Lloyd's uh, Torque 2 for that. I have a, 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 a third gear Customs. So we're going to do that without any cams. So just we're going to do an intake comparison on a newer model bike with no cams. And we'll try to do some more of that stuff uh, going forward. But anyways, hope you all enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. Um, I try to learn some every day and uh, yeah. All good. All right. Appreciate it. Thank you. Bye.